opening day baseball on the show. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the catcher, Jason DeLay. DeLay. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton. And here it comes. That one to first, and it stays fair. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Hey. There's a strike. Delay. Aboard here at first with nobody out. Soft contact in the air. And that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. You're totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but you got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here comes David Bell. Joel Cunell takes over on the mound. Now Number 66. At the play, Connor Joe bunted back towards the mound. Tosses to first. The runners move up on the sacrifice. Brian Reynolds here. In for a strike. Going one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Left field. Fairchild pulls it down. Runner tagging from third. To the plate. Save. On the board first. It's one zip. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's O'Neill Cruz. First ball offering one, misses no badly for ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. He will score. And they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is Jack Sawinski. Yeah. That one's in there. 0-1-1. Oh, one. Oh, one's the count. And misses no. inside. Right. Kicks and deals. Aye. That's in there. That one ran inside, almost got him. Got him swinging. Two runs. Bottom of the inning, and now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson. The line of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the air, center field. Reynolds makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now that, the designated hitter. And now the DH, Jake Fraley. He's 0 for 1. On the ground. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and they come away without an out. Will Myers now. Myers. 
on the ground right side oh, and ground. it's just foul that was close right into the plate comes up empty that's strike two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here that one down the line and it goes just foul gonna count one and two it's a good take one ball two strikes Now fly ball to right center. McCutcheon has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Here's the third baseman, now, now, now. Jason Vossler. Third baseman. One for two. Jason. That one the other way. Gets down, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. They take the force out, third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark. Now, Andrew McCutcheon. Here comes a pitch. McCutcheon. That clips the zone. It's 0 oh, 1. And a swing and a miss there. Just off the outside edge. Now 1 and 2. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now the now hitter, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi. That's in for a strike. And that one clips the corner. On two. That's Next offering misses, and it's one and two. One ball, His understanding of the strike strikes. zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. The one-two. Ball, that's out. And that Hell one almost cool. got him. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then Aye. if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Castro stands in now and watches strike one. That one's in there, and it's 0-2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The next pitch misses, and the count is 1-1. One Choi off of first with two away. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Steer makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and now it's going to be Stuart Fairchild. The line to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. McCutcheon has it sized up. One away. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Action in the pen down there. Chase DeYoung preparing to come on if needed. Underwood getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. Oh, two now. 
They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. The batter now, Kevin Newman. One for three. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw over to Choi, and that'll do it. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Down the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Foul ball. The one one. Late swing, fouled off. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Digging in, Connor Joe. First oh. offering misses the mark. And that's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. That's off the mark. Two and one. Yeah, the right hander deals. Towards first. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. First offering, and it just misses. Hey. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. He was all over that one. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Drive it into the opposite field gap. Got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. So a lefty out of the pen, Raper San Martin. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Kicks and fires. Yep, that ball went out. Reynolds at second with two down. Next well, offering is downstairs. 2 1. And that one That's off the point. outside edge. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Helpful. Three, two now. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that will end the inning. Welcome back, bottom of the eighth. Jonathan Indy at the plate. The second base. Jonathan. And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Reynolds grabs it on the run. Almost a loud start to the now inning on that first that pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Yeah. 
Line drive. Reynolds makes the grab for the second out. The batter. The, the batter, batter now, Jake Fraley. Fraley. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Jake Fraley launches one. His first homer of the year, it's 2-1. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Will Myers, the next to hit for the Reds. Gathers and throws to first. And the inning is over. Reds get one back on this solo dinger. And it's back here in Cincinnati. We go to the ninth. Now the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Ball one, Ball one no strikes. And that one just oh, that missed off the outside edge. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Ground ball right side. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The right field, Andrew. McCutcheon. New pitcher for the Reds, Buck Farmer. He's being eased into the game North here with the bases lead. empty. Now pitching for the Reds, number 46. Yeah, that's in there for strike Buck. one. Farmer. Swings through that. Good luck catching up to that one. The pitch. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Choi in the box now. No balls and a strike. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Next one misses, and that is ball one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Got it by him for the K. So they make short work of him there. Six, seven. David Bednar on to try and close it out. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game. Stepping in, Jason Vossler. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. The pitch. Laser base hit. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. 
Runner in scoring position. No outs. Next for Cincinnati, T.J. Friedel. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. One run game, bottom nine. Fought off foul. The next offering misses. One and the ball. count one and two. Just oh, missed. Okay. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch misses. And that's ball three. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. for a base hit. Coming home. He'll score and they've tied. It's 2-2. Huge moment for him and his team, Boog. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing off with the win if they can push across another run. Here's the left fielder, Stuart Fairchild. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. <laughs> Trying to move him over here. Choi flips it. That's oh, one. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. The first base is number seven. Spencer Steer. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Steer. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Hard ground ball base now. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in quickly. And the winning run at third now with only one gone. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in the and Just hope it finds a hole. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. New arm out of the bullpen. Colin Holderman. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And now Kevin Newman. Out towards left center. Drops into the glove, two away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. That's the third pace. Slings it across. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Two, two. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Farmer back to work. Now one miss. There's a strike. At the belt and finals. Check That's swing. Over. No appeal. And it's two and one. Almost got him to commit, but he held back. Righty delivers. Well, that's it. And it's strike two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. It's a stone cold take. Making a move at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, G1 Bay. Puts a bunt down. Bosley. Goes to second. Safe there. Here's the third baseman. Key Brian Hayes. Good contact guy. Good defender. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game. So they'll talk it over. A bunt and it's popped up. Steer snags it on the run. So up next, Connor Joe. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So Chris, how has that changed the way relievers oh. approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. That missed inside. And now 2 0. Oh. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 -oh count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball nope. count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Nope. Pitch is in there. And the count is 3 and 1. Aye. And a strike in there. Three balls, two strikes, the count. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the ball. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Alexis Diaz on the pitch out of the pen here. Really tough spot to come into out of the bullpen. Bases loaded with multiple outs to get in a tight ball game. A lot can happen right here. There's the strike. I got one ball, one strike. Trying to check his swing. Appeal to third. And he won around just enough that time. In the air, right field. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Here comes the throw. In comes some insurance as the runner scores from third. It's 4-2. One down. And now the shortstop, O'Neal Cruz. That's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed, though. And misses, it's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. He was late there, strike one. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the ball, I'm going right back in there. And delivers outside. All loaded up here in extra innings. Call out on strikes. Big time third strike to end the inning against a real threat. Two runs in the... Now into the ball game on defense, Carlos Santana. And here's the catcher, Tyler, Tyler Stevenson. The catcher, Tyler, Tyler. Stevenson. Stevenson. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Save! Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper. Like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. And it's caught. And there's one away. Will Myers getting ready to hit. Will. 
And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. Cincinnati making a move for a pinch hitter. Kirk Casale, a critical at bat in this game for him. And there's a ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 1-0. That's ripped into the outfield. And in one hops the wall. One runs in. Here comes Stevenson around third. Cruz with a relay throw. And he's in there as two runs score on the play. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Now for the Pirates, Will Crow. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Now it's going to be Jason Vossler. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. So a change being made out at second on the pinch run. Will Benson. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he could score in a base hit. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Santana. And there are two outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. In there. That'll do it. In comes the winning run. And the Reds walk it off in extra innings. These guys were hoping they wouldn't have to hit in the bottom half of this inning, but they did because the other team scored that run. But they battled back, got the runs they needed for an awesome walk-off win.